Let's take a look at simple interest, a by request math video. When we're dealing with simple interest, we're going to use this formula, I equals PRT. Let's take a look at what each of those piece, pieces is about. I stands for interest. Interest being the amount of money that we earn or the amount of money that we have to pay when dealing with the bank. So that's the amount of interest earned. P stands for principal. In other words, the amount that's invested or the amount that we borrow. R stands for the rate, the interest rate, and that's as a decimal. So if we're given a percent, we need to convert it to a decimal by moving the decimal point two spots to the left. And T stands for time in years. All right, and just uh, so that we're clear on these, Sometimes people get confused with the interest. That's not the percent. The percent goes into the rate as a decimal. Interest here is the amount that is earned or paid, depending on if you're borrowing the money or investing the money. All right, let's look at some examples. What is the interest on $38,925 for one year at 5.5%? All right, that sounds like a problem where we'll use our simple interest formula. And we're going to start out. We're looking for the interest. That's the I. So we're going to have I equals P is the principal, the amount invested, 38925 R is the rate as a decimal. So we have 5.5%. A half a percent is a 0.5%. So this is the same as 5.5 percent. We want to convert that percent to a decimal so we move it two spots to the left so we have 0 0.055 is the rate as a decimal so we're going to put that in over here 0 0.055 then T is the time in years one year so we're going to multiply by one of course that's not going to make a difference in this problem but um, if it's other than one, then we got to make sure we keep a close eye on that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and multiply this using our handy dandy calculator. 38,925 times 0 .055 times 1 gives us $2,140 and uh, 875 there. Okay, now, when we're dealing with money, we work with two decimal places, cents. So we need to round this to the nearest cent. We look at the seven, that's the spot that we're gonna round to. Look one number to the right of it, which is a five. That's five or larger, so that means that seven's gonna go up. So we're gonna round this, and we're gonna get $2,140 and 88 cents. That's the amount of interest that you would pay or earn on $38,925 invested or borrowed for one year. Let's take a look at another one here. What is the interest on $10,480 for eight years at 3.75 percent? Very similar but with different numbers. I equals P is the principal, the amount that we invest, $10,480. Then rate as a decimal, so we need to change this, 3.75, move it two spots, we get 0 .0375, that's our rate, so 0 .0375, and times T, the time, and that's in years, eight years. So we multiply that by 8. So again, we'll grab our calculator and go to work on this one. $10,480 times 0 .0375 times 8 gives us 3,144. No decimals there, so that means the interest on that would be $3,144. Let's look at one more problem. In these first two, we were just looking for the amount that we would pay or that we would be paid, depending on if we're getting a loan or if we're investing. 
This last problem, we're going to be asked for the amount that we end up with total if we're using simple interest. It says, how much money would you have in total, that's a key word, in total, if you invested $2,000 for five years at 2.25% interest? We're going to use this same formula, but then there's going to be one more step at the end. So first, we want to find the amount of money that we'll earn or the interest earned for investing that $2,000. That's going to use this formula. I, which is what we're looking for, equals P, the principal, the amount that we invest, $2,000. Rate is right here, 2.25%. Move it two spots to the left to make it a decimal, so it'd be 0 0.0225 times the time in years, five years. All right, so we're going to go ahead and multiply those things. $2,000 times 0 0.0225 times five. So you make $225 for investing that money for five years at 2.25% interest. Okay, so that's how much we're gonna earn. How much money would we have in total? How can we figure that out? Well, let's add on the amount we earned in interest to our original investment. So $2,000 plus $225 would give us a total of $2,225. So that would be our total. As you're working on these problems, make sure you're careful in understanding what you're given and what you're asked to find. This one, we had to do that extra step. Not only did we need to find the amount of interest, we needed to add that back to our original total to find the total at the end of that period of time. Also be careful, remember time is in years. Sometimes you might be given periods of months, so maybe it'll say invested for 24 months. Make sure you convert that to years before you put it in. Don't put in 24 for T. That would be 24 years. So be careful with that. Remember, you need to convert your rates to decimals by moving the decimal point two spots to the left, and you should be in good shape. Simple interest.